Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Ferner, and I'm bringing you my favorite character again, PJ Funny Bunny. And in this story, PJ Funny Bunny is getting into a race with his friends. The title of the story is PJ Funny Bunny in the Great Tricycle Race, written by Marilyn Sadler, illustrated by Roger Bolin. When I hear the word tricycle, it makes me think of the shape triangle. They both start with tri. Tri means three. A tricycle has three wheels, and the shape, the triangle, has three sides and three vertices. This is our title page, PJ Funny Bunny in the Great Tricycle Race by Marilyn Sadler, illustrated by Roger Bolin. Look at the picture. Does it look like this race is gonna be an easy race? Why do you think it might not be? How did the illustrator or how did the pictures help you understand that this might not be an easy race? One night, PJ Funny Bunny did not eat his dinner. He didn't. He did not play with his brothers and sisters. He did not even want his mother to read him a bedtime story. He just wanted to go to bed. The funny bunnies had never seen PJ so sad. What's wrong? asked his mother. PJ said he wanted to enter the Great Turtle Creek Tricycle Race more than anything, but he did not think that he could win. Look at how PJ's mom is touching his forehead. Why do you think she's doing that? I think she might be seeing if he's feeling okay, because I think he's not feeling like himself. Pot's pig is big and strong, he said. Donna Duck is small and fast. Buzz Beaver has been practicing all summer. And Richie Raccoon has a new tricycle. Seems a little worried, doesn't he, or frightened. The funny bunnies could see that PJ had a point, but they were not worried. We will help you win, they shouted. PJ was so happy. The next day, the funny bunnies woke PJ up very early. They fed him a big breakfast. Then they washed his tricycle and oiled the wheels. They cheered as PJ practiced riding his tricycle all that day and every day that week. PJ's dad, had been in many tricycle races when he was PJ's age. He knew just what to do. Always remember, he told PJ, slow down before you take the turns. Why do you think it's important to slow down before you take the turns? What do you think might happen if you don't slow down? Then the day of the Great Turtle Creek Tricycle Race arrived. PJ was so excited. He could hardly wait to start pedaling. PJ's feeling excited. Can you think of a time when you were excited? All of the racers lined up at the starting line. The whistle blew and they took off. PJ was in the lead. Richie Raccoon and Buzz Beaver were tied for second. Donna Duck and Potts Pig were in the back. PJ was so excited that he forgot everything his father taught him, and he took the first turn at Turtle Creek too fast. What do you predict is going to happen since PJ is taking the turn too fast? The next thing PJ knew, he was on the ground. His tricycle, tricycle was upside down and everyone was racing past him. Boys and girls, I want you to imagine that you're the character PJ. How would you feel right now? PJ was so upset he kicked his tricycle. Now I'll never win the Great Turtle Creek Tricycle Race, he cried. Then PJ thought of his mom and dad. He thought of his brothers and sisters. He knew that he could not let them down. 
So PJ got back on his tricycle and raced after the others. Pot's pig was big and strong, but he was not very fast. PJ passed Pot Pig easily. Donna Duck was small and fast, but PJ was faster. So PJ passed Donna Duck. Buzz Beaver had practiced all summer, but PJ must not have needed as much practice because he passed Buzz Beaver too. Richie Raccoon was in the lead. He was moving very fast on his new tricycle. PJ would have to pedal hard to pass Richie. PJ and Richie cleared the last hill and headed towards the finish line. PJ could see his mom and dad and all of his brothers and sisters waiting for him. Go, PJ, go, they cheered. So PJ pedaled harder than he had ever pedaled before. He passed Richie just as he crossed the finish line. PJ had won the Great Turtle Creek Tricycle Race. It was the happiest day of his life. Boys and girls, PJ had won the race, but look at his friends who were in the race. Do you see Pot's Pig up there? How do you think they feel? And I think they're looking happy, and why do you think they're happy even though they didn't win the race? Could they be happy because they're, they had fun and their friend won the race? They're happy for their friend? But PJ knew one thing for sure. He never could have done it without the funny bunnies. There's PJ's family. They're carrying him on his shoulder. You know, what are some of the ways that PJ's family helped him win the race? Can you think back in the story and think about, they told him that they were going to help him. Think about some of the ways that they helped him. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for listening to another story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.